of that uh, would be the reopening of our school of theology, uh, closed down by the Turkish authorities in the year 1971, which uh, prohibited the ecumenical patriarchate to educate and to train the young generation of uh, its, its staff and also the uh, people needed in the eparchies of the ecumenical patriarchate uh, abroad. Uh, we need uh, the restitution uh, of giving back to us of the church uh, properties taken away from our hands through non-legal methods and uh, uh, ways. Uh, this will prove that uh, there is a real change of mind. Do you believe that Prime Minister Erdogan is listening to you? Uh, he has the good will uh, to do so. Uh, it is not always easy to fulfill uh, his uh, plans, his uh, desires. It will take time, maybe, uh, but we believe that it will be for the benefit of uh, Turkey and its image abroad uh, to do these reforms and bring uh, uh, respect, bring back uh, respect uh, for human rights uh, one of them, and the most important, is religious respect of religious freedom as soon as possible. Uh, you support the membership of Turkey in the European Union? Yes, I do. We do at the Patriarchate. Yeah. And, uh, and, and do you believe that if it, if it does not look promising, that Turkey will look in another direction? Well, this, east the, rather than west. This, these are political uh, questions, and I am not uh, involved in the politics. But I wish I could see uh, as soon as possible Turkey being a, a full part, full member of the European society, as uh, the dream and the aspiration of the founder of modern Turkey, yes. Kemal Atatürk, was. Uh, who, he believed in a true secular who, state for Turkey as who well. He wanted to bring Turkey into the European family, and that is why he did so many uh, reforms what do you in, think in, of, in his time. Speaking of political leaders, what do you think of President Obama? I met him shortly in Istanbul uh, a few months ago, and uh, the impression he gave me uh, was a very positive one. Uh, the impression of a man uh, humble, uh, human, uh, a man who knows and wants to listen to the other. And I am very happy and uh, honored uh, that he accepted to receive me next week, uh, next Tuesday, uh, at the White House. Uh, this is the case of his predecessors, uh, Clinton and Bush, who both received me uh, in Washington uh, with great uh, honors, um, which belong to the Patriarchate, to this very ancient religious institution of ours, and not simply to my person. And even uh, President Clinton uh, paid an official visit to the Ecumenical Patriarchate in Istanbul as sitting president. Right. This was unique in the recent history. And suppose the president says to your old holiness, what can I do for you? And what can I do for your church? What would you say? I would uh, answer to him in uh, more general terms. Uh, saying that uh, he, as uh, the leader of this great country, uh, which influences so many things around the globe, 
uh, has to create uh, this uh, full respect of human rights, among them religious freedom and uh, respect of the rights of minorities everywhere, uh, because this will be a real uh, contribution to the establishment of a permanent peace and to uh, avoiding uh, conflicts uh, because of injustices. He has the responsibility and the possibility to, to do so much uh, to this direction. And of course, in this context, in this framework, uh, the affairs and the problems of our church and uh, our minority in Turkey uh, are included. Mm -hmm. You'd like to put that on the Turkish agenda next time he talks to <laughs> the prime minister. <laughs> our prime minister is coming very soon yes. to, to Washington uh, yeah. uh, within November. Yeah. And human rights is an international, is a, is a global value. Um, and the, the United States of America pay uh, great attention uh, uh, to this issue of human rights. Tell me, how do you see uh, a, a changing sense of America and, and what the world expects from America? We appreciate... Uh, generally speaking, all opennesses, all courageous initiatives taken by political leaders and mainly the leader of the United States of America, uh, which, as I said, uh, has a great impact, influence all over the world. Uh, China, you mentioned China, is a huge country with mo more than one billion, billion inhabitants. So to create not simply uh, good economic, uh, economical relations, financial relations with China, between the United States and China, uh, but uh, create and establish uh, more and more uh, trust, confidence among uh, these two great uh, countries uh, will be uh, of great importance uh, for world peace. Uh, the message that President Obama gave since the, ver the very beginning of his tenure uh, in favor of the dialogue with Islam is also very positive because it brings understanding yeah. among two uh, monotheistic religions with so many uh, faithful followers uh, around uh, the globe. Uh, these are uh, courageous steps uh, towards uh, establishing uh, the peace uh, to which we all aspire. As you know, uh, I'm doing a series of conversations uh, with uh, members of the Islamic world. What would be your message as a one of the most important religious leaders in the world to Islam? To respect all uh, human beings, to teach love and respect, to cooperate with all people of goodwill, uh, not to, to live isolated, uh, but in creating, in building bridges with the other faiths.